Hey everyone, this is Mr. Hong. I'm going to show you today the right way to find images on the internet and how to download them to use for your projects, okay? Because a lot of you seem to be having trouble um, finding images and downloading them the right way. So I'm on Google, of course. This is the ultimate search engine, but you could use anything. Um, so for example, if I wanted to find a picture of Kobe Bryant, I'm gonna type that in because I'm a Lakers fan. Um, if you look at your images, right here, your search images, click on that, and voila, we have all these pictures of Kobe. Um, one thing that I do recommend, especially if you're searching at school, is this right here is called Safe Search On, um, because it will filter out any explicit images. So sometimes you're just doing a random search and all of a sudden these naked people pop up. We don't want that to happen at school. We don't want to get in trouble, so it's a good idea to leave Safe Search On. Um, if you look, there are certain search tools that you could use. I'm going to click on that right now. And so one thing that I do want you to use is the size, okay? You re usually want to have a large high resolution image or else it's going to come out pixelated when you use it in Photoshop. Um, you can click on large, medium, icon, larger than, larger than, I would say at least 1024 by 768. That would be a pretty safe bet that these are pretty large images. You could actually search Kobe by certain colors that he's wearing. So if I want him to be uh, wearing a red jersey or having red in it, so here they have him with red. It goes by a filter. Or if you want to do a black and white picture of Kobe, you can do that. You could even do, um, you know, a, a transparent with no background. So there's a lot of different things. We'll just do any color for now. And then there's also types, so you can do a face, so that'll just do a portrait of Kobe, or a photo of Kobe, or clip art of Kobe. So there's a lot of different options. Sometimes it finds a good one, sometimes it doesn't. Line drawings, so this, this will be good for when we start using Illustrator and animated as well. I'm just going to do photo because we want a picture. And then um, time, we don't really use that much. It's, you know, if someone posted it within the past 24 hours or whatnot. So I like this picture of Kobe right here. So I'm going to click on it and it opens up a larger view of it. Um, do not copy this version because it's still the thumbnail version. We want to go to the original image. So you want to click on view image. And here's a big one. It might even let you zoom up a little bit more. So click on the magnifying glass and it's zoomed in. Now on your Mac computers, you don't have a right click button, so what you have to do is you have to hold down control and click on it, and then you can click on save image as. And then it'll ask where do you want to save your image. So you want to go to your computer design folder or your yearbook folder or wherever you're saving it, and you want to save it in there. I'm going to rename it because this file is name file name is really long. Kobe Bryant Drib Dribble. And then I'm going to save it in my student folder and click Save. Okay, so that's how you find and download images. And I will show you later how to open them up on Photoshop and do some cool things with them. Thanks.